Hello everybody, thanks for checking in again. Um, in this video, this will be a continuation or a remake of the last video, but now I'm not going to use Jet Team Builder, but I'm going to show the same uh, stuff with Cadence Elements. Um, so last one was with Jet Team Builder. Um, this enables us, if you look here on the left side, you have the Team Builder option. And this works fine with the Gutenberg editor. So here we could create, by clicking on this, create page templates and set, te set specific conditions on where this template should be uh, applied. And this works fine, this works great even. It's a really easy way to set up page templates for your website. Uh, but we can also do the same thing or something similar with uh, uh, um, Cadence Elements. And you will find this with Appearance, Cadence and then Elements. So if you're not sure what I'm talking about, watch my last video and then you will be up to date. We're going to add a new one. And we're going to go to the settings here of the element. And then we'll have to set this to template. So now this is saying template instead of the default content. Um, the placement is important to make this the replace single post content. Uh, just like with the previous video, we can choose to make it custom header, uh, make a custom sidebar uh, above the content, um, so sort of a hero. But we are going to choose this, you can see this as replacing the, the body of the, the main body of your page, just as we did with the Jet Team Builder. So we have to select this one. And then this is the thing you have to set up to uh, enable the template on specific pages, on specific archives or whatever. You can choose which one you want. So you can do this on your entire site. This means this one template will be applied to all pages of the site. The front page, blog page, search results, you can make a custom template for a 404 page, all the singular pages, all the archives, and then more specific, you can go to your posts, you can go to your pages, and your custom post types will be at the bottom. Um, so we're going to select single pages, just like we did with Jet Team Builder, and I'm going to select them individually. Home, About Us, and select. So this is the same setup as with Jet Team Builder, but the way to get there is a little bit different, of course. But this is uh, the same thing as we did with Jet Team Builder. User settings, this is more specific. You can make it available for specific users, but for now all users is fine for me. And then expires is um, you can make this template available until a certain date, but this is not uh, useful for now. Page template, we're just gonna give it a name template publish publish and then we're going to set up our template so i'm going to make a row layout like we did last time go to the settings and then i'm going to do the same settings or i think will be almost the same we're going to set the view age of 100 a minimum age minimum height of 100 we're going to set the background of an image that's already here maybe this one and we're going to set up an overlay that's a bit darker clicking here setting it a bit darker making it about 40 and then adding some padding make this percentages and say 15 percent from the top and bottom doesn't really matter like this and then we're going to add a advanced text block center it and make this dynamic so we have to go to post custom field sometimes it will show up by enabling this but it won't now so we have to do it custom this is a thing with jet engine and cadence they are not officially integrated it works but it's sometimes a little bit more uh, testing out let's say so now you see no content but it will probably work set it to white update this and now we go to the website go to my wordpress go to home page and you see this is a title so this is the one that i've set up now and here it says no content but you see it pulls in the dynamic data if you're wondering where this is coming from again i all explained this in the last video just so check it out then you will be uh, up to speed with everything i'm doing but first we have to set this to full width 
then it's going to look a bit better update refresh okay like this you see so if you know how to work with cadence elements it's really really fast and really easy to set up page templates but it's just the same with uh, the jet team builder you saw in the last video this was also a really easy way to set up page templates so it's sometimes just a matter of preference i don't really know which one is better or not but it's always better i think if you use cadence elements it works always great if you use the cadence blocks within cadence with it within a cadence team builder uh, with jet team builder it might work better to use the jet uh, plugin uh, or the jet blocks let's say because if you use the jet blocks here the styling is often not applied and some things don't work so that's a little bit the only disadvantage if you mix and match it's not always working at the moment let's add another advanced text paragraph center it as well and also the dynamic content post custom field and this was a longer one um, let's check how it's called let's edit this page and then we'll see this one text under title paste it in add the dynamic content it will always say no content but you will see after we've updated and opened the page it normally will work like this and then let's click on update here and then open up the page again oh, almost too late let's open it here so you see it pulls in the dynamic data without any problem and then the last thing i've done in the last video was set a inner width i think custom content max width of about 750 pixels or something update refresh and you see this is working really fast really easy and uh, this enables you to separate your templates and your design from the pages itself so your client can't access them and just uh, has access to some content like this but it's but the client is not able to mess up the layout by accident so i like it to set up my sites like this if i know that the client uh, wants access to the site and wants access to the back end this is a safe way and an easy way to separate your stuff from their stuff let's say so uh, and i think i also enabled about us this is something i can disable in the customizer this uh, title section and you see it pulls in the custom fields automatically something different and this is the other text so these are the ones that are filled in for this page whereas for home page this is filled in so you see really easy way uh, works fine um, and i like this maybe more than Caden, with cadence and jet team builder but that's just because i'm used to it so you can choose whatever one you prefer thanks for watching guys uh, as always if you have any questions or problems let me know and uh, you can help me out just by subscribing and uh, leaving a like thanks bye bye